Puzzles are a lot of fun. When you have all the pieces and you know where they go. I mean, who doesn't love a good peg puzzle? The cow goes in the cow shape, the pig goes in the pig shape, easy peasy. But as we get older, puzzles can become a lot more difficult. Like the time my family poured out a 1,000 piece winter puzzle. The picture on the box had snow everywhere. All I saw was a pile of puzzle pieces that all looked the same. How would we ever put this puzzle together? But everyone was like, we've got this. We've got this. That may have been true about that winter puzzle, but the truth is we don't always say we've got this. In fact, we face difficult circumstances that are way bigger than what we can handle. And that's why we want preschoolers to know that we can trust in the Lord with all our hearts and know that God's got it. Week one, we will look at a few of the pieces of Moses' story. God gave Moses a really big job to do. This job was definitely one of those bigger than me kinds of jobs. It was so big, Moses was afraid he wouldn't be able to do it. After a talk with God at a burning bush, Moses began to believe that he could trust God because nothing is too big for God. Nothing is too hard for God. God's got it. Week two, we will find pieces to a place God called the land flowing with milk and honey. God loved the Israelites so much that he promised to lead them to a new home. This home would have all the food they would need, but how would they find their new home? God shows up in a big way, like in a pillar of cloud and pillar of fire kind of way, and God shows his people the way to go. God never leaves them. God stays right in front of them, morning and night, because God's got it. Week three, we will switch to a different puzzle of a man named Elijah, a widow, and her son. Elijah trusted God, but it hadn't rained in a really long time and there was no food to eat. God told Elijah to go to a town and find a woman there who had food for him. Elijah told the woman that God said her flour and oil would not run out. The woman trusted God no matter what. And just like God said, Elijah, the woman, and her son had food every day because the flour and oil did not run out. Once again, God's got it. We will end the month with week four with a king named Hezekiah. Hezekiah trusted God, so when King Hezekiah was worried about the safety of his city, he prayed and talked to God about it. When Hezekiah was very sick, he went straight to the one true God. Hezekiah knew he could talk to God about anything because God's got it. We don't have to have all the pieces or know where they all go. All we need to know is that God sees the big picture and God's got it. We hope you and your preschoolers have so much fun learning that we can trust God with the big things and the little things because God's got it.